It's K and Fab, and we in the lab. We might be cooking or doing some arts and crafts. Hey, what's up, y'all? What do you hey. have on? We found chicken today the first chicken bread I'm Hey. I don't even think they heard what you were saying. But I told friend we was going to try our hand at frying chicken day and this was she decided to come like because I didn't get caught with no white oil I don't even think they can understand what you're saying I can see that I don't I ain't, I'm 47 I ain't mm -hmm. 47 I ain't never fried nothing in my life besides scrambled eggs so that don't even really count but what I know for sure is I don't like that hot piece of know. <laughs> I done got hot in one time. Mm. That was it. Trying to fry up some bacon. I don't eat fried food that I cook. I ain't never cook nothing fried. I ain't never put nothing in no hot grease. So today, it's fried chicken fried. Hey, Kay said we're going to fry some chicken, so I got my outfit on. I'm ready. I'm protected. No, no, no. We're air frying chicken oh. today. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah. this, um, even if we were frying real chicken, <laughs> you still would need all that. I feel as if I would need it. You don't need all that. Okay. All right. So, so, so take all that off. All right. Yeah, because I'm hot. Can you see the beads are sweat on my Yes. Okay. Anyway, y'all, so today we are doing fried chicken, but we on our uh, healthier temple type of situation. So, we're going to try our hand at fried chicken in the air fryer okay so we're gonna make some fried chicken we're gonna make up some homemade potatoes so this is what we got going on for today y'all so friend will be able to do this even a child could do this so hey <laughs> you can do it baby you can do it you can right. do it so i've never seen an air fryer before yes. Let's show them what this thing looks like. so it's hot. it is hot so this is a Simply Ming air fryer. Um, it goes up to 400 degrees um, for 60 minutes. So today, what we need to do is to preheat our air fryer uh, for about 15 minutes. So you're going to turn the knob. So I kind of already had it set up a little bit, but we're going to turn the knob and get it heated all up. And then we're going to, while that's heating up, we're going to season our chicken and then we're going to... Put an air fry. Oh. You ready? I'm ready. Come on. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So. You know, I need to put gloves on, but every time I do this check, every time I need to wear gloves and I prepare my food. I mean, so on the regular, would you would you put on gloves? No. Okay, well, we're in your kitchen, so we're okay. going to do it how you going to do it. All right, so. Let's ask the audience. Audience, do you wear gloves every time you prepare food? We're going to wait and see. All right, so. We have already cleaned our uh, chicken, so we made sure we put it in some vinegar and some um, water just to kind of clean it off. We also have uh, trimmed the fat off, so we're going to keep the skin on. So we're doing uh, chicken thighs, you said? Yes. Chicken thighs. They so. was out of chicken wings at Publix on Canola. We got people saying no to the gloves, so. I washed my hands. I'm going to take this ring off, though. Y'all like my ring. <laughs> Uno the, what's the problem? Uno the, Uno the song. Okay, okay. Alright, so. Y'all, I would have been on today, but uh, we had some technical difficulties, so. Okay, where she always is. But I'm in the lab. <laughs> Alright, All right, so. so. I just sprinkle all this stuff on here? Yeah, so you gonna tell them what we got? Oh, I have seen the salt. Seasoned salt. Mm -hmm. Lavis. We only use lavis on the corners. Garlic sauce. Lavis. Mm -hmm. I got some lemon pepper. McCormick. Some paprika. McCormick. And some public black pepper. You okay. can use salt pepper anyway. Mm -hmm. And right. then, what else we got? Oh, we got some chicken fried batter meat. Yes. Oh, okay. Louisiana fish fried mm -hmm. Right. 
So we gonna try to do this uh, without any flour. So yeah, we trying to do it on the healthy side, y'all. You no, know, we trying to get our sales right for this next school year. So we might not have to put all this salt stuff on here. We need this. We might not. So, I mean. It does have salt and garlic and paprika already in this. Right. So, maybe just a little lemon pepper there, maybe. Right. That sounds good. All right. All right. So, all right. Get your hands dirty. Oh, what am I doing first? <laughs> what am I doing? Yes. You, you season your meat. So, so you, I need a, just the chicken. Not that. No. Oh. You're going to put like mm -hmm. your, um, your paprika and your, and your lemon pepper. It's already in the bag mix. Though. It is, but that's on the mix. That's oh. not on the chicken. So oh, okay. you do a little lightly. Okay. Yes, chat. We did sing the song. Go and ahead. we and we when we uh, poll the audience, they don't use gloves when they cook. They wash their hands. Like normal people do. So you gotta get in there. So you gotta. Make oh, it. Okay. I gotta massage the meat. <laughs> yes. Can I put all the seasoning on for the massage? You sure can. Okay, let's do that. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna do my lemon pepper. Yep. I like them stuff. Get all up in there. And y'all see. So what's been going on in your world, ma'am? For well, me? Yes, you. Well, this week we had graduation. Uh, on Wednesday, it was my 25th anniversary of graduating from UGA. But the students of Rockdale County were able to do a drive through graduation where they actually picked up their caps and gowns and their diploma. So we had over 500 kids come through um, and we were out there outside with our administrators and a lot of our faculty came to volunteer and the kids got their diplomas. So I'm very proud of them. Nice. So we have a few that will be picking them up, you know, that weren't able to come pick them up. I've got some kids already gone to the military so they their parents are going to have to come and get their stuff and you know, but I'm just very proud of them. All the class, to all those class of 2020 people out there, you know, good job and good luck to you. You know, I hate that that year came to an end so abruptly, but you know, you guys did it, and I'm proud of my seniors and all those out there who graduated this year. And I did lose a friend. I know about three episodes ago, I was. Um, saying that one of my friends, he had been a long time DJ of mine, had had uh, um, suffered a heart attack. Now one of my other close friends also has passed. So these these 2020 boys, it's been a trying year. It really has. So that's why we need to start taking a little bit more care of our bodies. Well, yeah, I mean, because with that, you know, you never know. Because, you know, I've lost another good friend of mine, Deanna. I mean, you never know with that. With, with a heart attack, it's just so unexpected. I mean, looking at these people, they all look fine, you know, so you just never know. So, but also today, my mom, she, um, my mom is 86, Catherine the Great, she's doing good. Um, but she had her first virtual doctor's appointment. So she goes to the doctor every six months for her regular checkup because she's 86. So that's what we have to look forward to when we get older. Um, and her doctor... Um, had a Zoom. So I had mentioned on the last episode, I just got my mom a laptop. So I went over there to help her do the Zoom call with her doctor. Uh, so we took a blood pressure. She had a blood pressure on the wrist monitor. So I did that for, I was a nurse today. You know, for all those who really know me, I was pre-med for two years before I had to take Dr. Whitney and Dr. Jaworski at UGA for biology and chemistry. <laughs> and I dropped that. But anyway, yeah, so went back to those skills set, that skill set and um, took her blood sugar, uh, took her temperature, and everything was good. So the doctor was pleased, and she had a good visit today. So, yes. yeah, that's how my morning started with, uh, yeah, with her doctor's appointment. So, yes, Chad, we do not want to be on the show 600 pounds. So, yes, we are working on getting these. I have dropped 10 pounds. By the right. Yeah. For the well, corona. I'm going to put it out there. I might, I, I know I look real, real fine, everybody. <laughs> but I am actually like 168 pounds. That's a lot for someone who is five feet tall. Okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, I know I'm thick and it's like solid. But you know, I got all this fat up in him. All up in him. You know, I blowed a lot. I, I've always had like digestive issues. It, it started in high school because I'm allergic to milk. And I think that's what the issue was. So, oh, gosh, I mean. um, so now I'm going to wash my hands. Okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So for those of you who are just tuning in, we are making air fried fried chicken. 
So yes, the type of meat that we're using is a uh, chicken thighs. She said yes. chicken thighs. So we have used yes. She said they was out of wings, so we're using thighs. All right, so that's okay. We just testing out. It's it's a healthy version, so we are gonna make it work. So these are our season. We got some Lowry's uh seasoned salt. Seasoned salt. We got some garlic salt. We got some lemon pepper. Black pepper, paprika, and then we have this uh, Louisiana uh, crispy seasoned chicken mix. Yes, boom. Okay. Um, chat, we are mixing in a bowl because that's more comfortable for friends. So, person who doesn't cook, we're trying to start them off slow. Okay, we not we not chefs yet. I, I don't know, ma'am. Okay, so what do I need? To do All right, so now you gonna you gonna mix your hands in there first. Oh, okay. yeah, girl, get it up. Such a chicken. It's just like dead. Dead. We're not gonna revisit that. Come on. Yeah, no. She ain't had none of that chat, so we had to use what we had. What you talking about now? She ain't had, she she had, she had no uh, garlic powder. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You didn't have none of that. Oh, okay. We're gonna use what you got. Oh, right. Come on. That's what we got the battle for. Okay. Yeah. I don't rub it. You, you rubbed no, it? I did. No, it. Okay. Uh, they said thighs are better, low in fat. Chat, we don't have gloves. The community said we didn't need gloves, so we are going to go. Yeah, we're not talking chat no more. Come on. Okay, anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> she she had tried to season the, the, the breast the best that she could. Thighs. Them too. <laughs> <laughs> so now she going to... Uh, you gonna put it in there. So no, no, no. You gonna, right. you gonna, mm -mm. you gonna put, oh, the, I'm chicken. Gonna put the chicken. In. Yeah, just do one at a time. Okay, that way it's one easy. at a time. Okay, and so you I'm cold it. Cold yeah. it. Oh, look at that thing. Ugh, a lot more oil. All right. So now what I do? You put it on both sides. I did. All right. So now we gonna come. Oh, we gonna put it in the air fryer. Yeah, we gonna put it in the air fryer. Oh, so yes. Yeah, okay. So now. Gonna pull it open. So what you're gonna uh -oh. do now? Okay. Let me back up some for you. Okay. So boom. So I just lay it in there. Right, but before we lay it in there. It look like a coffee maker. It is not. It is. It nay, look, look like, like a coffee, coffee maker, maker, but it is not a coffee maker. Okay. Oh, we gotta spray it with Pam. Just yes. Like we, we, okay. Well. Mm -hmm. So we but just don't want to stick. But at least we gotta put no hot grease in there. No hot grease, man. You me spray it now? Look, look her face, y'all. <laughs> so concerned. We gotta make no hot grease in there though. No, so we're using um, Wesley's Farm cooking spray, and we're gonna spray that in the bottom of the pan and around just to prevent stickage, stickage. of the chicken. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we ready? Yep. Go on and get it now. All right. All right. That's one. All right. You gonna try that one more, one oh, more okay. time? Okay. It really looked like a coffee maker on the inside, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> you know how you pull the thing out and you put the coffee filter in there? Mm-hmm. That part of the coffee maker. Yes. All right. So since you know you're a diabetical, you might need to invest. You know, we yeah, need to, right. yeah, because okay. you know, it's yeah, much healthier. I mean, it, it seems like a simple process, yes. rather than having to. Mm -hmm. And you can make a whole. lot. We're just gonna do two at a time. Oh, two at a time. Yeah. I think I can get a third one in there though. No. Uh, you don't want to overlap. You don't oh, want to okay. be on top of each other. So okay. Move it over so move it can it have over. its own little space. <laughs> Chad right. said the pinky though. <laughs> Girl, that pinky got a mouth its own. All right. All right, so I'll now you can in put it in there, yep. All right. Okay. All right, so now we are gonna turn it to, so we're going to cook it for like 30 minutes, but oh. we are gonna turn it over um, at the 15 minutes and okay. then um, make sure it's good. So you are gonna so put, crank it. I'm gonna put on 30 or 15. Go ahead and put it on 30. Okay. And then that way when we get to 15, then we'll pull it out, flip it. Flip it. And then, oh, this is gonna take a long time. We need to put some tub oil on this, but we ain't gonna have it for the hour. I know that. I know oh, okay. that. But you know, okay. it's just you and I. Okay. All you know right. what I'm saying? Then you got some left over for. Okay. Well, let me wash my hands again. I guess yes. we're gonna season the french fries. Yeah. Okay. And then you ready. Right. Boom. Awesome. We're gonna get us a piece of cake. Oh, piece of cake. All right, so if you just tuned in to K and Fab in the lab, we are making air fried chicken. Uh, we have chicken thighs. Um, and our seasonings, and we're also making um, home fries. Home so fries. yeah, so everything is new today. So Fran ain't never done this before. So we trying new and healthier ways.
to um, make fried chicken. So, so do you know how much uh, air fryer costs to buy? So um, I do not know. I know it's about like a hundred and something plus. Oh, if y'all okay. know how much an air fryer is, let us know, okay? Um, put that on the link. Nice and, and compact, small, yes. Yeah. But they come in different um, styles or whatever. So oh, okay. it just depends. We on this side? Uh -uh. Okay. We, we flip it. All right. We keep on moving. All right. That so, full circle. Alright, so for the, okay, I wash my hands again. Alright, so, um, so how do I season this? Do I need a... You got a dustbowl? I do in the, um, in the dishwasher. Dish I mean, I got this colander. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to put the stuff on fall out. You don't want to do that, though. Um, no, no, no. Alright, well, I mean, I can use a small bowl. See, I also know that Fran is a artist. And so this is one of her lovely new pieces that she has done. But what is this called? it's not an original Fran. So this print was either done by Rachel, what's their name? I want to say Rachel Davis or they're twins. Okay, hold please. Okay, thank you, Chad. So it says that air fryer started about $70. But this is not an original, but this is original painting by a friend. So, it, aren't they beautiful? So, she's got a lot of projects going on, but you know, your girl gotta eat, so. Car, I never benefit somebody car. Well, introduce your guests. He said he don't want to be on, but I got okay. a mixer in the house. Okay. So our special guest Charles is here. And we are using an air fryer. I know, right? That's why I came on over. I, I came ain't never from, used an air fryer before? Yeah, I was I was uh, coming from, uh, and I thought I had to come over here because they said he was using one. I thought I might have to fix it because. Oh, no, it's working. You got it. You got it going. Yeah. Who called me on my house phone? I was talking about a right about or something. <laughs> Oh, we ain't got no call ID. Okay, so, oh, you want me to use that one instead? Okay, I can. All right, so we seasoned, we got thighs, because I couldn't find no chicken wings, because they were out of chicken wings. They're always out of chicken wings. Right, okay, so I seasoned my chicken with this stuff, and then I battered it up. And so now I got my potato fries. I cut these potatoes, and everybody who knows me well know I hate potatoes. Um, I don't eat I don't eat like baked potatoes, but I like potato chips. So I, I cut these really really thin. So I'm hoping that they will become the consistency of a potato chip once we uh, put it in the air fryer. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay. Um, I'm okay with the taste of potatoes. It's just that I don't like the consistency of Anything pasty, you know, in my mouth, like uh, lima beans and peas and black-eyed peas. And all, I don't eat all that stuff. Green peas, they just oh, I don't like to taste green peas. They taste gross. All right, but I so how many potatoes. potatoes were this? It was just two potatoes, two, um, yeah, two white potatoes. And I tried to cut it as thin as I could, so they're kind of like home fried style. Left the skin on. That's where all the vitamins are anyway, so they say. So what kind of seasoning should I put on this? Just some seasoned salt? Um, so uh, you can put some paprika on there, you can put some black pepper, um, you can sprinkle some lemon, some lemon pepper on there too. Okay. You know, just want to even coat. You don't have to like, you know, overdo them. So yeah. you just want, you know, you want it for the flavor. Yeah. I always feel like I under season. You know, I feel like I don't, I'd be scared to put too much season on it because I don't want to be, you know. But I guess anything that doesn't have salt in it, I guess it's okay. Right. Can you put too much pepper on something? Not at all. <laughs> all right. Well, it's smelling pretty good. All right. And then what else you said? Lemon pepper? So, yes. Uh, Carla Weston Brown says. Yes, did you cut those by hand? I did. Yes, we are learning some things in these COVID times. I cut it with this hip butcher knife. <laughs> <laughs> I did. And it was pretty easy to cut. Because I thought I was going to have to.
to get a, um, you know, one of them slices, but I don't have it. I have one for my apples, but not for the potatoes. It doesn't work like that. Okay. Okay. So, so technically, I really haven't put any salt on this. I just put pepper and paprika. Nice. And, and uh, lemon pepper. So I guess you could always, always put salt on it after it's fried, I guess? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, but the fries aren't, it's going to take as long as the uh, chicken. Okay. All right. Well, I'm giving away something today for um, all my sorors out there. You so, are? I am. Oh. Okay. Surprises? So I was supposed to be, first off, I did my first virtual sip and paint. For those of you who know me, I have sip and paint business. I need one of those. So, I, I met a lady online, and this is the painting that they painted. So, it was 17 cousins, and the 17 cousins for, are from all over the United States. International, remember? Yeah, and there was one from Panama who didn't even really uh, speak English. She was Spanish speaking. But all the, some of the cousins had actually met on Ancestry.com. And so she wanted to do something for her cousins. So she purchased an 8x10 canvas. Um, I, I sent her a supply list. So she bought red, yellow, blue, black and white paint, a small little bottle of that. And she sent them um, care packages with paintbrushes and like some little snacks to all 17 cousins. Well, she won, so 16 of her cousins. Um, and then they did a Zoom. So I was a part of the Zoom. They weren't pre-sketched. So this is their family tree. So I just painted the background, you know, with them. And then I kind of instructed them on the tree. And they really came out really good. So I was excited because that was my first virtual paint party. So, so for a group of 15, how much would that be? Well, it depends. If I have to purchase the supplies, then of course the cost is different. It depends on how small or large you want your canvas. But for a little canvas like this, um, it wouldn't be that much. So if you're going to purchase all of your supplies, um, I only charge fifty dollars for instruction. So for fifty dollars, you can have a paint party with hundreds of people. It doesn't matter if they're going to buy their own supplies. So all I'm doing is instructing you on how to do the piece, sending you the supply list, and things like that. But if I have to purchase it, then of course it'd be a per person price. Nice. But it came out really nice, I think. Nice. Uh, and so I also. Um, Sign up for a sip and paint for tomorrow, and but I'm unable to attend. But it was their two sisters, I don't want to miss say, say their names, but they're twins. I want to say it's Rachel. Mm. Okay, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna look them up before the end of this because I don't want to <laughs> say the wrong name. Um, I want to say it's okay, hold, hold that thought. I'm gonna run and see their wait their a minute. Somebody thought. said, Uh, hey, okay. see you tomorrow at the Zoom. Looks like you already got started. I know. <laughs> Listen, I told her to wait. I even told her that she should have um, not even opened her package, but you know how Fran gets when she is dealing with pain. So she, oh, uh, yes, Rebecca and Rachel. Yes, Rebecca and Rachel Crouch. <laughs> I think they are from D.C., but if you look on Facebook, Rebecca and Rachel Crouch, um, I think it's R.C. <laughs> Nothing no else. Takers yet. So yeah, I think it's cute. It's little girls, you know, they're dreaming of being adults. Chelsea, one day. that's not the magic word. <laughs> Fine, that's not the magic word. Carla, uh, 
<laughs> there you go. And it's signed 100 years. So I'm not sure which twin did this piece. Um, yeah, but that's cool. All right. So any takers? So Chelsea Edmond. Chelsea Edmond. Okay, yes. it's yours. Woo! All right. Okay, awesome. You want to give away one of your own um, family trees? Yeah, sure. Anybody want a family tree? I have two family trees. All right, yeah, what's, okay. the, what's the magic word? I don't know. I want it. <laughs> Let me get something like else. Shout out to Papa Rogers. Item number one is a family tree, and item number two right. is a family, family tree. tree. Yeah, this may look yeah. nice somewhere. And you can have to put your family's last name on it if you like, customize it. Yes. Any takers for the family tree, just put I want it in it. So in say, it. I want the family tree. Yes, I want the family tree. There you go. Yes. Anybody that wants the family tree, just <laughs> let me know. Okay. Which one? Family tree one or family tree two? So I make know. sure that you... got the rainbow from, from top to bottom and the rainbow from left to right. Okay. You see that? Surely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look like they go in the same direction. Oh uh, no! See, the, the rainbow is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Okay, I got and this it. This one is red, orange, yellow, green, purple. Got it. Fans, see it now. Yeah. Yeah. I see it now. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. So we're giving things away today. All right. So we said at 15 minutes we're gonna flip it. It's almost at 15 minutes. Oh really? Yeah. We've got like maybe two two minutes. All right. So. For the people who came in a little late, what are we doing today, friend? It's fried chicken Friday. Fried chicken Friday. But so for those of you who actually fried chicken the other way, in the grease that pops out, <laughs> you may want to try one of these face shields <laughs> to protect your face from the grease. Friend, they don't Where need that. They don't need that. <laughs> they don't need that. Actually, my daddy used that when he be cutting the grass. I just brought it for you because I thought you just, you just needed a little bit more so, protection. Or if you want to cut your grass, this is but no, the the good Southerners who know how to fry that chicken yes. don't need where, where can you no uh, I can't help you. Okay. Well, I saw one today in Chapel Beauty for three ninety nine. So if you need a face a face shield, Chapel Beauty has them. All right. You just giving everybody accolades today. Yes, because today is Juneteenth, right? It is. Okay, so Charles, right. explain to them the story about the Juneteenth while we pour ourselves some sangria. Oh, you made sangria? I did. I made sangria from last You did episode. a recap? I did a recap because it was so good. So, yeah. So, Charles going to tell us the history about this black black Juneteenth thing. Oh, As okay. He looked right. like he just got off. Now, he about to fix a car. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> It is Joe today. My name, where my, where my name? You Joe. Is. I'm Joe today. Fixing uh -huh. cars today. Uh -huh. shout Black out businesses. To, Black business. Shout out. Entrepreneurs. Shout, shout, shout out to uh, to uh, Mr. Wheeler's auto body. <laughs> I got you. Been working today. I'm a man of many talents. But hey, just to let everybody know, you know, September 22nd, 1863. Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation to go in effect 100 days later, which would have been January 1st, 1863. So, on December 31st, 1862, no, I said 1863 then, I'm, I'm sorry, 1862, I'm sorry, 1862 was that September, September 22nd, 1862, to go in effect January 1st, 1863. So, on December 31st, 1862, which was considered the first watch night, the um, former slaves waiting to become free men and women were waiting for that January 1st midnight strike so that they would become free slaves. Then we know that throughout that from 1863 until June 19th, 1865, there were uh, forces that be uh, the system in, in place, however you want to say it, they made it where they were unaware. And that, so the last, uh, or that proclamation was made in Texas. In Texas, near Houston somewhere, in 1865, June 19, 1865. And that was the proclamation made, and it was read by a general, by a, by a general that read the proclamation and said that 
they were now free men and women. What I want to say to that, whether you agree with it or not, whether you celebrate it or not, it is a time for us. To, it is a time for us to reflect on that we always have something to do. Always have. Uh, movements to make and whether you knew it in 1863 or knew it in, or you didn't get the, the information to 1865 that lets us know two things that information is powerful and that we have something to as a as a culture to come together with and let me tell you something about that 1865 there was a park that's still in Houston the first public park in Houston was bought by a group of black people to have the celebration of 1865. So whether you uh, agree with it or not, and, I, and, I, and I'll keep my opinions to myself on whether I agree with it or not, but it's very important to our culture, so we, we should respect that. So cheers to those people that are- Happy June 19th, support your black businesses. So, so, cheer, right. so cheers to those people that, that are celebrating 1865 and Juneteenth, and Cheers to those people that are saying that we should be awake and everything because we are trying to get to that to that spot of glory. So, cheers to you. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Mm. Woo! Well, since that you, for the people that missed it, what did you put in it? Okay. So, last episode, we made peach and um, berry sack reels. We made the non-alcoholic and the alcoholic version. So, as if you were watching, I poured ginger ale first. I pour a little ginger ale in there first, and then I pour my sangria mix, which is, I use red Moscato mm -hmm. wine, but you can use any red wine, and I also mix it with a strawberry liqueur, and I use, uh, is it decoupe? <laughs> <laughs> strawberry patch liqueur. Yes, they're the same people who produce the peach schnapps mm. uh, that I use. Used to uh, inhale at the University of Georgia. Oh, yeah. Then you hit it with a little. Yes, and I put some fruit. orange slices in there, and um, I was I didn't have my blackberries and strawberries today because I really wasn't anticipating making it again. But it was so good. It, and we're celebrating June 19th, you know, Juneteenth, so it's a special day. And so yeah, but most definitely uh, support your black artists. Um, you know, your musicians, your fine artists, your authors, your um, business people who own businesses, you know, just be supportive, you know. Shout out to, since we're talking about support, shout out to Kiana's Braves. Q-I-A-N-A New book. S Braves. New book, yes. just out. Shonda Austin. Shonda Austin. Shonda Austin. Shonda Gordon. You can find her on, on Facebook at Shonda yeah. Gordon. Kay yeah. has her braids today. Uh, I don't know if she wants everyone to see them, but they're really cute. She has the Thelma braids from Good Times. <laughs> Y'all remember Thelma braids? That's when she that's that's when she dated eBay. That's when she was dating eBay. <laughs> she was going to Africa. She was going to Africa with eBay. Really? You you feel like that? That's how you that's how you do. No, but that's how her done. Done. Let's 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 check on the chicken. Let's check on the chicken. Yeah, why we why we throwing shade? Oh wow, look at it, y'all. Get that crispy sign on it. But how you get, you see that little piece of powder right there? That's just going to get done yeah. when we flip it. When you flip it. Okay, let me go get some tongs. Then I asked you to do that oh, already. Hold on, hold on. I got a call up on the June 9th. The June 10th mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, oh, that skin crisped up real nice. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear, the hear, hear that sizzle on that thing? Yes. All right, so I'm just going to flip it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Girl, good catch. <laughs> it has shrunk a little bit, but I guess that's what they do when they fry. Oh, it looks good though. Oh, so how you know it only take thirty minutes? Oh, okay, because that's what they said on the direction. Uh, it no, um, that's what Mama told me. Oh, that's what Mama said. Okay. Yeah. And how do you know what? Oh, you got it on four hundred temperature. Yep. Okay. So between three hundred and four hundred, in. Okay. Yep. All right. So it's got ten more minutes. Ten more minutes, y'all. Yes. Oh, that's gonna be some good chicken, right? So there. how how much um, do we put the French fries on four hundred as well? Yeah, she's gonna put them on four hundred. And how how um, much time do we need on the French fries? Just ten. Just ten minutes. Just okay, ten cool. minutes. So we all have a meal by the end of this episode. Yes, yeah. All right. What else I do? Oh, I did another virtual paint party with some children. 
we did the skyline of the moon. It went pretty good. You got a visual on that? I do have a visual. coming up and um we are celebrating fathers Make it only see your face. No, but seriously though, giving a shout out to all the fathers. I got, I got, you know, got, got one, of, got one of mine with me today, and we gonna, we gonna party up tomorrow and everything like that and enjoying it. We're not gonna wait till Sunday. Um, how I many? You know, it's just a men's day, so it's gonna be my brother, my nephew, my daddy, me, and my boy, and so. Girls, oh, the girls, the girls oh, have to do that. The men of the family. The men of the family. So the girls have to do that. What y'all doing out there, Facebook land? What, what y'all doing? What y'all doing? For those who've lost their dad, what you doing to memorialize your dad? Oh, I got my daddy. Tell them who you got to be. Maya J. Jury, online. And I saw my mom this morning. I said, Mama, what did you say? And she was like, Justice and beauty? I said, No. I <laughs> said, <laughs> She said, Isaac Breakfast. I said, yeah, I said, for Father's Day. She was like, oh, I love it. I'm like, oh, I miss so, my daddy. So you've been wearing it every him. day, right? Yes, I've been wearing it every day this week. And then I will definitely have it on Sunday for Father's Day. And I may, he talked about going to the cemetery. Now, let me tell you something. For all those listening from the ATL, y'all know about West, uh, Western Cemetery. I don't too much like going over there because my daddy is in the castle. He over there where they be filming horror movies and stuff. <laughs> and any of y'all ever been to that cemetery, they got, you know, all the graves. And then they, and then they got this big, big old castle, castle on the hill. Every time I'm going there, I feel like I'm going to get stabbed. You just sound like no security. old just spiritual music need to be I know, background. and then he on the top floor. So I got to walk up the all top the floor. Yes, I got to go all the way up the steps. I just scared. I, I mean, I ain't going to lie. I don't like going over there by myself because I feel like I'm going to get stabbed. But. Oh, he got it. I'm a, uh, I think Cat. Oh, yeah, y'all let him go out and start. Oh, he on the top floor. He on the top floor. In the, in the, the side upper room. He's in the upper room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One funny thing. It ain't funny, but it's funny. Okay, so Westview is kind of old. They've been around for a long, 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 long time. You know, they used to be all white. But then they started letting the colored people come over there and bury their people over there, too, right? So a lot of black people got, you know, in the mausoleum, right? So my parents had paid for they they little plot thing a lot years ago. So we went to the funeral, got to the uh, the graveside, right? 
And so in order for them to put you in that file cabinet, you know, it's like file cabinet. Mausoleum. In the mausoleum. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he on the top of, so it's like four bodies stacked on top of each other, right? You know, you know how like a file cabinet is, you know, you got the bottom drawer and then you got the top drawer, right? Mm -hmm. He on the top drawer. So they had this thing that, that, <laughs> That pushes the so you sit the casket on top of it, right? And they turn on, they go, How did we get here? How did we get here? It's like a record, you know. Yeah, how did we get here? So we were sitting there, it was like a piece of plywood, the coffin on top, the flowers on top, and then they pushing them up. We all sitting there, like, Please don't let that coffin fall off that thing. Yeah, 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 and then they had to climb up ladders and push Push them it. off. Yes. The yes, they did. I swear that thing was going to fall. Oh, my God. And my family had come to Detroit. They was just like... So my daddy is still living. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> on Father's Day, we are gonna celebrate his life, hey, and uh, hey, yeah, hey, we gonna hey. cook him a nice, nice meal, and you know, mm -hmm. all of his children that live oh, in Atlanta. Oh, uh, uh, oh, my oh, turn. Oh. Uh, uh, my daddy is gonna be. <laughs> we gonna celebrate him at the house, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're really gonna um, celebrate him. Like, you yes, I don't need. I'm scared to put the camera back over here because I don't want to hear no more horse. No, we didn't <laughs> about no more Father's Day. Because yeah. y'all are going all off the topic. Father's Day. What well, I was saying, I was going to go to the cemetery. Right. I, I didn't even hear that part. The, 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 so the thing is, yeah, 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 she's thinking yeah, about, yeah. <laughs> about going to go see her dad. Yeah, and well, they wouldn't change the flowers. You I missed change, that change, whole. Change thing you, at Westview. So that should have been the first part. You done went all the way to the fire that academy. If that's, if that's her memory, that's her memory. Oh, Jesus. Memory. What number we on on the chicken, ma'am? We got three You need to push the away chicken. from the cup. <laughs> we got three minutes on the chicken. Push the cup away. Oh, Jesus. You got these people cracking up. You hear me? That's what they come for. They come for the story. I listen. They come listen. for the story. The chicken, anybody can do chicken, but it's the, it's the chicken in the side. They come for the side. Yeah. I know, Katrina I mean, James, I mean, it, it is it is the sangria. It's, it's been it's been <laughs> marinating in the refrigerator for oh, list okay, no. Thank, mm. you. thank you. Okay, I got chase with ginger ale. Yeah. I ain't had no ginger ale mom. Uh, I you did. did. I no, not in this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> the drink yeah, I just drink. Drink. Wow. Ooh. These people I work with, Lord Jesus. Yeah. So what, oh. what are you guys doing to celebrate your dad on Father's Day? I want to hear from the people. Or, or what are you doing if, if, if dad is gone to glory? What are you doing to why, why celebrate? She, All why, right, so you want to get something to take the chicken why, out? Hey, why, why is she doing that? Okay. Has she already talked about this right now? What? The home piece? Can I, can I talk about this right quick? Oh, yeah, you can. So, yeah, so, you know, you can go and get this at, um, any of the uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. What was that other one? Hobby Lobby, oh, Michaels, and all yeah. of that. A plate. Oh. Hobby Lobby and Michaels, or you can get you a custom one. You know, you know, Fran is always doing something. If you want to, since we talking about Juneteenth, you can get you one of these custom Breakfield Originals, <laughs> Home Sweet Home. That's it's coming out. It's not done it's, yet. It ain't even done yet. It's but it's coming out yeah. very nicely. Yeah, it's coming. I gotta trace it out, make sure because it's. So I it's, just it's a, paint on and so it's it a, you know, all you gotta do is we'll go and get the wood like we did before. Yeah, the wood. I, get is, the, I know how to cut it now. I can get for, it cut. Please. And for those who craft, I mean, you, it's pretty simple. Um, the wood is a five foot tall and um, twelve inches wide. So about fifteen dollars. What was it? What was it? Two by eight by, by yeah, well, two so by eight. Thin, two I'm eight. gonna get it this thing. Right, it's but two by eight by people are putting these by cook. their front door, you know, like a welcome mat. So this is the new thing to put this up next to your front door so you're welcoming people in. But it, I like the fact that it's very, very heavy because like if a tornado comes in that going nowhere. You see what I'm saying? Right. If it's lightweight, then that thing gonna blow away. So. And somebody else sure to make it their own welcome right. home. But I or through the their, or through right their car windshield. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you yeah. don't do that. But this one is pretty heavy. This is a yeah. this is a two by. 
Can you um give the name of the oh, necklace Maya again? Oh, Maya J is the name of the jeweler. Maya J Jewelry. I think it's the website. You just Google that. I got it off of uh, um, Oprah. Uh, they were celebrating Oprah on The View. And this is one of the vendors that they had. Carla, Oprah has mm -hmm. a special. Carla Brown said, please don't drink our drink. Why, she gonna come get her one? She said she gonna get her, get her some. Okay, come on, girl. All right. Moving on, right. we're gonna go back. The uh, chicken, we're gonna put the potatoes in. Yeah, now do we have to do anything to the fire to like prepare for the potatoes in between the chicken, or we just throw the potatoes on in there? We're gonna use the greasy you and then put some paprika on it and some season salt. Now we already oh, pre did that, okay. but yeah, oh, oh, yeah, we already got it. Yeah, we just gonna uh, oh, okay, well, it looks good. Can y'all see that chicken? Mm, the smell of the smell of vision is good. So it looks like I guess regular fried chicken. Cause we didn't bread it. No you bread, know. no flour. We're trying to stay away from them, them carbs, you know. And off the six hundred life show. Yeah. So that's that. Now that, there's a little bit of grease coming over that though, but I guess that's the naturally coming from the fat. Huh? Yeah, that's exactly. Oh, okay. All right. So do I need to spray it again? You do. Or the, do I need to wipe it down or just leave the I just want to wipe it down. I don't want to wipe it down. Okay. Put a little chicken, chicken flavor on them hey. potatoes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. But it looks well greased already. But we'll do it again on the on the side. Okay. So, all right. So we're going to throw all the potatoes in there? No, no, no. Again, oh. you want to... Um, oh, space it out? Yep. You don't want them to stack on top of each other. Oh. But all of them ain't going to fit. Well, you, I mean, they you put a, you, I mean, you did make them a little what? chunky. What you mean? I did make them chunky. <laughs> I, I don't. Oh, you mean like like real French fries? They home fries. I don't they know how to fries. do real French fries. You doing? I would have had to cut them up some, some that way. Yeah. I want to go like that. Yeah, like a puzzle, make it fit. Yeah. Okay, so there that's it. Yep. I put that little slice right there. Right there. It's thin. There you go. That's it. Slide that's it all I can put in there. Well, that's a down of the air fryer. You can't put a whole bunch in well, there. Well, it's a small time. one. I mean, it's only you. Okay. All right. So you gonna put it in for ten minutes? She, she. This is Kendra's air fryer. Yes. Cause Fran said she want to do fried chicken and no, she right. diabetical well, let me see, and let me explain and. Explain how this whole thing started. So I'm on the phone with Daria and Chad, who are my two sisters. I'm the only child, they're only children. So when we get old, we have to take care of each other. Because especially with me, because I don't have no kids, they don't have no kids. So what are we supposed to do? You know what I mean? We can't like just go to the old folk home and be forgotten. So we're gonna have to bond together because you know, I mean Chad got Caleb, but Caleb ain't gonna take care of all three of us. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so we are sisters. So on my emergency medical stuff, because it's just me and my mom, Chad's name is on all my med medical stuff. So for all y'all single people out there who ain't got nobody. And those siblings, y'all need to have somebody trustworthy on your medical stuff. Um, so anyway, in case of emergency. <laughs> um, but anywho, so they were, we were on the phone and they said, Fran, you don't eat soul food. Now, mind you, I did not grow up. I ain't never had chips before. I've had uh, pickle pot feet one time. And I didn't have collard greens until I was in 12th grade. So I didn't grow up eating soul food. And they tease me, talking about, I, you, you don't eat black people food. I do. I just don't like <laughs> black eyed peas, and I don't like stuff like that. But anyway, I do eat fried chicken, though. And they were like, we ain't never seen you eat no fried chicken. I said, well, you ain't never seen me cook no fried chicken, because I ain't going to get hit with no hot grease. I am afraid of hot grease. <laughs> I don't like it. I've been popped before. When I be cooking bacon, I don't like it. So, <laughs> so that's why today we are cooking fried chicken, but we use the air fryer, which I feel safe, I feel comfortable. Oh, it needs to on. It he ain't even it. try the chicken. Okay. Alright, go ahead. He would think you'd be the first oh. to test, test, test. You got a little of that skin on there? Can I get a, can I get a bang yeah. bang? Can I get a bang bang? We ain't there yet. It's cool. I need some hot sauce. I got some hot sauce. I got some test You know what I'm doing? It's good. We ain't getting no back-back. It actually tastes like, it reminds me of Kentucky Fried Chicken's, um, but it's not as greasy, though. We don't get no back-back. Back-back. 
<laughs> it reminds me of Kentucky Fried Chicken, the, the baked chicken. Mm -hmm. Cause the, yeah, because if they have like a skillless chicken. You got to do it for real, for real, friend. Bad You got to have it high pitch. Bad There you go. <laughs> you want some high pitch? I can taste the peach. I keep that taste peach, baby. I put that on everything. Yeah, I put that on everything. I put it on my scrambled eggs. I put it on my macaroni cheese. Mm -hmm. yeah, Your macaroni yeah, and yeah. cheese. Yes, girl. Put this on some mac and cheese. Right? Mac and right. cheese. It takes it to a whole nother level. Yes. And scrambled eggs. I know you do it on scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. Pretty much anything you put ketchup on, you put a hot sauce on. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. it. That's it. Mm -hmm. You want another piece of cake? Go ahead. T test that out for us. Well, you know, Texas peak going to be good regardless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, the chicken is really good because... It's, it's not the reason. It's tender. very, very tender. Yeah, it's tender. All right, friend in the kitchen, okay? Yeah. Friend in the lab, yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to invest in the air fryer because yes. I feel safe with this. <laughs> I don't feel like it will harm me. Hey, Charlie. Like a big old mixer. pan or hot grease. <laughs> Don't you ever think about that? Don't you ever think about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to invest in the air fryer. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. 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 Kathy Henry said, don't feel bad. I hate collard greens. And yes, hey, I'm black. <laughs> she said, yes, I'm black. Well, my dad, this is weird. I know this is going to sound weird, but my grandfather worked at CDC. Look at that crust, though. That one he, I want he used to, um, look, at, look at that crust, though. Look, look at that crust. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. His now. official title at CDC was Animal Keeper, but he worked uh, with the scientists as far as, you know, testing different foods out when, when they were testing. He was truly the animal keeper. It's anyway, well cooked y'all all the way through. Yes. It only took 30 minutes. I know that mm -hmm. sounds a little long. You know, fried chicken, you know, it's not that long. But it ain't popping on you, you know. Right. It's I not. It's not. But my granddaddy said collard greens ain't have no food, babe. That's not necessarily true, I don't think, but that's why I ain't, oh, my parents never ate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. That skin, though, know, you know I ain't even a fan of eating skin and stuff like that, but that skin, though, know, yeah. What were you just saying? Mm-hmm. That's that B what? That's that B. You know how you say that B? Mm-hmm. That's that B. Get that skin right there. Don't get that skin before I get it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's very good. You did well on the season, friend. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. So I do like the chicken though because it, it is done, but it's very moist and juicy. It's not dried out. Now that's the issue I have is like we grilled that chicken the other day. We had two versions. One we put straight on the grill. It was dry. And I don't know, I maybe left it on there too long. But the second batch I put in the oven first. And I let it cook in the oven a little bit. Then I put it on the grill. So it was a little more moist. So we still gotta get that grilled chicken thing down. But um, but this is good. Yeah. Ain't healthy. Yeah. Today is fried chicken Friday. With the air fryer. And home fries. Yeah, so our french fries are about to be done in about two minutes, if that. Yep. I don't believe it's going to be done. You think it's going to be done that bad? And if not, you know what I'm saying? You take them, you shake them up a little bit, okay. you put a little bit more uh, love into it, and then you know, okay. boom. You there. Do I have to flip? I don't have to flip them over. No, nah, you just do a little shake, shake, and then you're do in there. Shake, shake. Mm hmm. You know, I don't know how long stuff to cook because I don't cook it. <laughs> I'm learning to cook. We got to change. We have to change yeah. our vocabulary. Our vernacular, the way we speak. Right? Yes. We have to speak I'm things into to cook existence. At Amen. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Hot. Hot, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be hot in my mind. 
<laughs> and they also have with the air fryers, they come with a cookbook, friend. So it come with a cookbook. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, the book has everything that you need. So when you get the air fry and you want to try different things, he not over there. He not over there. You know, you can always resort, <clears throat> go back to the cookbook. You can okay. cook a whole chicken in there. I mean, oh, not a whole bit. it might be a little you bit small. You can put a corn in there. there you go. Yeah. I mean, but they have um, some that are bigger. Oh. They have some that are bigger, so you know you can. Um, I like this size. But yeah. It's just me. I'm not right. cooking with nobody else. Right. So, for health wise, or whatever the case may be, you know we on our health kick, so you know you never go wrong. With, you know, cooking healthy. And it's a great investment. Yep. Great investment. So if you don't, you have that issue with um, the popping of the grease so that you won't have to have on the whole arm of God to cook no fried chicken. Right. Invest in an um, air fryer. And the cleanup is very easy. Okay. So what we're going to do is clean up this part. Uh, <clears throat> That's tray. it. Yeah, you take the tray out, you put the okay. tray in, you know, you rinse that out, and then you're done. Okay. Um, Sophia Willis, um, excuse me, Sophia Lewis, I have no idea what size it is. I'm just going to say it's like a medium size. I don't know if it comes bigger than this, but I've seen some that are like smaller than this. Um, and it might be some that are bigger, but, uh, one of the viewers already told us it's about $70 for an air fryer. Oh, okay. So. Oh, it's ready. Yeah. Is that what it's like? Let's see. <laughs> Listen, lady. You need to slow yourself down. I you know you're you ready, ready, but slow down. What does it look like? What y'all find? What you feel? I don't know. I we mean, you said you know how you... I can't tell you, if it's done or not. You said you know, you like yours kind of crispy. Yeah. Do you want to shake them up? Yeah. I guess I flip them. Mm -hmm. they, they probably done, though, because see, they're crispy right now. You hear? I, yeah. I hear a little... Yeah. <laughs> See that piece was a bun there, so that's why you can't. Oh yeah. Yeah, I ain't see they didn't get done good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's hit up by five more minutes. Okay, thing, five I think. more minutes. We in there. I think that piece, we're gonna taste that piece though. Alright. So let's just turn it just a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's get some ketchup. Ketchup. I Man, they don't bark these bones over here though. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you know what? They don't bark this chicken, y'all. They ain't say you girl none. But can you say it was a good? Can you say it was good? Cause that one almost done. That tastes like potato chip. It tastes like potato chip? It do. Oh good. That's how I want it. I like it crispy. You can taste that pepper on that though. Say the pepper? I can't. Right. I'm over here swimming like, whoo. It's a high. Bye. Yeah, the AC on, they ain't putting no more dog wishes in my face. That's what you want to have. Hey, I don't know. Y'all, one day cheering around here in the neighborhood up to a dog wish. She don't know that. She don't, you don't know that. How the dog wish you get in the I don't know, but you don't know that the children did it. Okay, a grown person might do the dog <laughs> She don't know who that. did it. Like potato chips. Yeah, it's, it's crunchy. Well, Shamika Banks, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and take it out that box. Go ahead and try you some fried chicken and fries sometime this week. She said, I have a hole when I ain't even use it yet. Bye bye. That chicken good though. It's gone, friend. It, it's, it's gone. It's gone. I'm a bone eater. Sophia Lewis know about eating that chicken off that bone. It's gone. We it's clean them bone, baby. <laughs> it's we don't leave no meat there. <laughs> it's a whole nother piece over there. But I thought you said you wanted some. It's all right. It's oh, all right. I'm, I'm going to let you enjoy it. Okay. Your first, first yeah. out the gate fried chicken. Yes. I'm so proud of myself. Is it mine? Pack sip on the back. <laughs> Well, we gotta show them the fries now. So I think we, I think they, they gonna be a little bit more crisper than you think. 
I think so. It might be because I had that sangria that I'm over here with I'm these sweat beads. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to go back to the to the gym and get these calories off. Yeah. All right, come on. What? Take it out. Slowly. Huh. Slowly. We ain't trying to burn the fries now. There you go. She said it's out the box though. You hit, I hear it. That's crispy. That crispy thing. And if you want it like crispy, crispy, maybe next time you just need to like, you need to cut them a little yeah, bit thinner. Mm -hmm. I tried to cut them with real thin. I know, we just gonna have to get some old material. It's hot now. <laughs> it's hot now. I still want it crispy. That's good. I want a potato chip crispy. Well, like you said, you gotta make it thinner. Yeah, you do. Okay. Well, y'all, it has been a pleasure. Yes. You know, we 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 teaching things. We doing experiments in the lab, so you know how that goes, right? Yeah. So. Hey. So. Mm. Mm. Be sad to let you go. The sangria is fast. Hey. In the lab. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna be drinking. Okay. Mm. The whole Quran. Hey. Hey. <laughs> mm. 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 hey. It's K and mm. Fab. Mm. And we oh, in the lab. Come on. I hold it. Okay, hey. So. In celebration of our graduates, and me graduating from UGA, uh, I had a cake made. Uh, shout out to Kelton Dutch for the referral. But Delicious Delights made my cake. Her name is Dee Brown. Delicious Delights. I'm gonna show y'all the remnants of this cake. <laughs> it was a UGA bulldog. <laughs> With, can y'all see the red and black dots on it though? It was beautiful. Watch your hand. Oh, it was beautiful. And that's all we got left. So we're going to go ahead and take this to the head as well. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. This is our little uh, dessert. But again, these dishes you like if you need a cake and you like fondant, you know, she's for you. All right, here we go. Congratulations uh. to the ladies who won the paintings. Hey. We'll get yeah. your information. Make sure you get your uh -huh. artwork, okay? Oh, okay, now we're ready for the thing. All right, here you go. Hey, hey, hey. Uh. It's K and Fab. And we mm -hmm. in the lab. Mm -hmm. We might be cooking mm -hmm. or doing mm -hmm. some awesome mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. y'all have a great day. Have a good week. See you Happy Juneteenth. Hey. Celebrate and participate and. All that good stuff.